Your energy is electric, your thoughts are magnetic, and your words are spells. Here's how to use that to create the desired reality that you want and to really get anything that you want. I'm gonna break this all down. So let's start with your thoughts, right? So this is your thought bubble right here. Let's say that you have thoughts of a dream home, of making a million dollars, like this is what's going to your mind. This is what's happening in terms of that self-talk, so on and so forth, but really it shows up as offsprings, like shows up as tasks, right? It shows up as like, right? It shows up as st as things that need to take place in the present moment. These are offsprings of your ultimate manifestation. So they don't really show, your thoughts don't really show up as the final product, but rather they show up as the things that need to take place in the present moment to get the things that you want, right? So I said, your thoughts are magnetic, right? Your thoughts have and electric charges but think about this your, your thoughts are magnetic so whatever you think about you you essentially pull towards you right because this becomes what occupies your mind and whatever is occupying your mind tends to have a physiological or physical component which begins to change the chemistry of your body so what you think about you become that's true right your thoughts are magnetic so you begin to pull the offsprings of these manifestations right so the the present moment things that need to be done towards you right that's why these these thoughts are finding you whether it's oh i i i think i have to go call this person or I think I have to meet this person it's because it's it's a magnetism that's happening right your brain these thoughts are are magnetic okay I'll show you how all this adds up in a moment I'm just going to break everything down by piece by piece so your thoughts are magnetic your energy is electric so think about I like to envision it like this so you have this so almost energetic core right this is just a visualization it doesn't actually work that way but you have this energetic core really it kind of looks like this, right? You have this energy that's always floating around you, kind of this, right? It's like this energetic bubble, okay? For the sake of simplicity, we're just gonna draw it like this and it radiates, right? So your energy is electric, so positive, negative energy, so on and so forth, right? Now to wield energy, we use focus because where focus goes, energy flows. Your focus is like a wand, right? In Harry Potter or whatever it is, like, or a laser beam, right? Wherever you point it is where your energy goes. So now people who have high levels of energy and high mastery of energy begin to radiate that. And so these are the people who you can feel their presence when they walk into a room. What happens is when your thoughts and your energy and your words are aligned, which I'll touch on in a second, you begin to exude an energy that number one, makes these manifestations feel like you're within reach. Number two, gives you the power, the self-esteem, the confidence to go out and create these things, create the opportunities and the value that brings these things towards you, right? So your energy is, is, is electric in that way, positive, negative energy, right? So let's take this all back. And then your words are spells. So if, think about it this way, if every time you said a word, it manifested immediately, you'd probably be a lot more deliberate and careful about the words that you speak, right? You can speak your desired reality into existence. How this really adds up, and these are your words right here. You can speak your desired reality into existence. So if you look at people like Muhammad Ali, very famous case, you know, saying he was world champion way before he was world champion, right? So now, this is probably gonna be a short video, but all these things align because the if, when all these things align, you're essentially in alignment. I think that should be a no-brainer, right? You're essentially in alignment, okay? Now, someone who's in alignment has essentially become the person they need to be in order to create these things. You don't have the things that, if you don't have the things that you want yet, it's because you're not the person needed to create these things. Because what happens is if you have really big goals, right if you have really big goals like a million dollars or a dream home but you're far and away from that this is what it's going to look like right these things are going to be way over here right they're going to feel so far out of reach and what's going to happen is you're going to feel like you need to go take this uh this is bothering me one second you're going to feel like you need to take this really like awkward route of getting a job going to school 
working three years in one position, you know, transferring three years in another position, so on and so forth, saving from retirement, and then you finally get these things. Whereas there's a person, there's a version of you that takes way more risk, has a self confidence, has no issues calling up people, asking for help, paying for coaching, paying for mentorship, seminars, so on and so forth. And quick secret: people who are highly successful all have a coach. They all ask for help because that's a single shortcut. So now, when you're in alignment, when you're in that person, you essentially first off, first off. You start to radiate energy and you know you're radiating the kind of energy you want because these now these now feel like they're within reach right and you won't have to say anything different but people will start to tell you that you're talking different or that you're speaking different or that you have more confidence so on and so forth right so you'll start to radiate energy at a higher level right and i'll show you how to do that in a moment but also these you'll these feel so much closer within reach to you that instead of taking like this really inefficient route, you're like, you know what, why don't I just start a business? Or why don't I just use the skills that I have and do fitness coaching or start a YouTube channel or whatever it is? Like you find more direct route. When you are in alignment, your intuition begins to kick in and reveal steps to you that are on that most efficient path. Right, because these things now genuinely feel like they're within reach, okay? And that's when all these things begin to take place and align, right? So now shifting energy. First off, the single fastest way to get your energy in alignment with where you want to be is to reprogram your subconscious mind, right? You do that really with things like hypnosis and hypnotherapy, right? Now, if you want a more budget-friendly option, the second best way to do that, but this takes a long time, okay? So takes, right? The other way to do that is take a look at what these, you know, how do you know where your subconscious mind is, is really at? How do you know where it's really set? Well, you look at the people, places, and things that you are around, right? Places, and I've talked about this before. And what you want to do is begin to swap those out with things that make you feel like your dreams are now within reach and possible so if you feel like you're you're and this is here's the most important one but if you feel like your dreams are out of reach or you feel stuck so on and so forth i would immediately replace the people you're hanging around i would use a block button i would unfollow people i'd make new accounts i'd tell people that you're going on a 30-day fast so on and so forth and swap this with mentors pay for coaching um read books that's one of the most still one of the most and, you know, powerful hacks or just consume content on YouTube from people you want to be like, like list five people you want to be like and start consuming their content places. Get out of where you're working right now. Get out of your environment, whatever it is. Um, stop going to certain places and swap these with inspirational places. So um, one thing I used to do in my early 20s was I used to drive 40 minutes to downtown Toronto and go work at the Starbucks in the richest neighborhood in Toronto simply because of what that would do to my subconscious programming, right? So I'm gonna put this as environment, okay? And then these are habits, right? If you have any habits, addictions, low vibrational habits, this is gonna affect this. Um, one of the single best things you can do for subconscious reprogramming is physical exercise, right? For, for scientific and, and energetic reasons. Exercise, diet, sleeping on time, so on and so forth, right? Like that is how you reprogram the subconscious mind. But again, this takes time. Um, different for everybody, different in terms of how aggressively you're doing it, but anywhere from 30 to 90 days, closer to the 90 days on average, is when you will begin to see monumental change in your actual physical reality, right? So the reason why I even made this video is because I want you to recognize that you have those three tools in your arsenal. And the whole point is to get into alignment right those things have to match like you can't speak in one way but then you know you are thinking negatively or you're thinking small and you know you're showing that like you don't even have the guts to go for what you want or whatever it is like all these have to be in alignment when all these things are in alignment this is what it means to be the person i also made this not just for alignment but so you understand how powerful each of these individual pieces of you are right how powerful your words are um you know your words are like writing the script for the movie that is your life how powerful your energy is and what you do in private shows in public through your energy don't forget that and then your thoughts right think big like that's one of the simplest pieces of advice that i can give you is to think big think 10 times 
as big as you currently are thinking. And I promise you that that will increase your energy on its own, right? Increase the level of thinking that you're, that you are operating at and the words that you say, think big, right? But you have no idea how powerful you are. This is just a really, really simple introduction as to how powerful you are, not just on a physical plane, but on an energetic and a spiritual plane. All right, let me know if you guys want more content and let me know if you guys have any other questions.